Right, so let's see how we can use uh, Burp Suite to be able to set up uh, a list with uh, more than one parameter set. So by default we have a single parameter that we can iterate through. So what we'll do in this example is that we'll, we'll try and, and set up multiple parameters. So we'll just shut Burp Suite just now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just have a look to see what our metasploitable instance is. Is it 10, 200, 0, 36? Okay, so I just happen to have the Hydra command set up. So what we'll do is we'll iterate through the list user and list password just to make sure that uh, this was working. So it looks like it's admin and password. So hopefully when we use Burp Suite, we'll be able to set that up. Okay, so what it is we want to do is to be able to set up Burp Suite as a proxy. We're going to capture the login and then we're going to iterate through with two, two parameter lists. Uh, so that it can go through a list of one and then a list of the other, say for usernames and passwords. Okay, so let's let's make sure our proxy is set up. Okay, so I've already set this one up hopefully. But that one settings and the proxy is set up, so everything's fine. So we should be able to go ahead and and run this now. So let's forward that. That takes us to there. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll go over to this page. And again we'll forward. So it looks like we're already logged in. So we need to, to log out. So we want to capture the login page for Burp Suite to be able to to see what it looks like. Here we are. Okay, so I just put in some arbitrary values, and then hopefully we can capture that. So that's captured already. So that is there. Okay, so that's captured our login. So what we need to do now is we need to capture that. Okay, and we'll push, put that in there. So what, what you should find is that uh, it's in sniper mode, we can only use one parameter list. So if we go ahead and then we mark that one, okay, and we'll mark the other one. So we want to be changing usernames and passwords. If we do that there, and then if we look at setting up a payload, there's only one there. So if we set up a, a cluster bomb, then if we go here now, we now can have two lists that we'll set up. So what we'll do is we'll set up the first one for our administrator ones. And let's go for admin. Let's have a little look to see if the password that we're using is in there. So it's admin and password. So we'll just make sure that that's in there. Then root and for guest. Okay, so we've got four there, and then we'll set up our n the next one. So the next one is password. Password with a capital P. One, two, three, four, five, six, and finally password with dollars. Okay, so when I have 16 different requests, there's payload set one, and then there's there's two, 
and then that relates to our marking here for our fuzzy fire. Okay, so everything's fine, we're good to go. So let's now just start our attack. It's going to throttle back, so that's okay. And there we go. So what we should get is 16 different requests. And we need to make sure that we set the the IP address correctly. But we should see for each of these requests what we should get. There's a different username and password each time. Okay, so there's the admin. And there's password and then we can look at the response uh, if we want from them okay so that's how you create uh, a target which has uh, which has more than than one uh, list payload sets